Hey, everybody. So, uh, Uncle Lou and Pigskin Pete come out with their Slob Olympics um, betting odds for who's the favorite of uh, the Slob Olympics to win the entire thing. Um, so, I'm going to go through. I thought it'd be cool to and fun maybe to go through and talk about who I think is going to win and what place they'll come in and everything like that. So, I'm just going to tell you right now. I, I think... I think Pete and Lou missed the mark by um, a lot. They have some of these um, truckers too high. Truckers don't, they just, they just, they sit around all day and, you know, they don't get much exercise. So I don't anticipate um, the truckers doing very well. So I got, I reflected that in my poll. And then um, a few people I think who are underrated uh, too. So. <clears throat> D4 Sports. Okay, I have him coming at um, number one, plus 200, same as everybody else. He's been all over every stream and um, everything, talking about how he was a running back or uh, a fullback and um, court, backup quarterback in high school. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give I'm gonna give D4 the edge at plus 200. Uh, go ahead and say that he's uh, the favorite for sure. He said how smart he is, he can do trivia and all that stuff. So I agree with them on that. Um, what I don't agree with them on is the placement of Sea Dog. Now I know, I know I might be tugging myself off here a little too much, but <clears throat> I intend to win this thing. Okay, uh, I know some of these guys are coming here to just you know grab ass and and um, you know just have a good time or whatever. No, not me. I'm coming in to win this thing okay from the time the slob olympic starts till whatever time it ends sea dog is going 100 percent i'm not there's no links i won't go to in order to win uh, larceny a murder treason i'm going to win no matter what <clears throat> so that being said I've got myself at number two at plus 300, right behind D4. Um, I gave D4 the edge because I am fat, um, but I'm young. I'm one of the youngest competitors, and I work construction, which a lot of people uh, sleep on me about. I'm faster than you think in the 40-yard dash. Um, so I might be fat, yeah, that's because I eat uh, too much fried chicken and ice cream, but <clears throat> I do have to work um for a living with my hands and i'm always carrying lumber and everything so i'm pretty strong so i can um for sure uh compete in the top five at least now i might come on here uh embarrass myself and um come in like i don't think i'd come outside of the top five to be honest like i'm not like Based on my where I'm at and the competition, I think that I can realistically come in the top five. Um, and which they had me right outside of it. They had me at six. Um, well, really seventh because they had uh, they had six people in front of me, but they had me right outside of it. And then um, so that's you know that's a fair place because you look at me and you're like, oh god, he's that. Well, I'm gonna be giving it one hundred percent. I'm not going. I'm not here. To just screw around and lose this thing. Sea Dog is coming for the gold. Speaking of gold, <clears throat> I think that Gold and Blue Dude is very underrated. I've given him the same odds as me, plus 300. Uh, they had him at number 10. That blew my mind. I've been watching Gold and Blue Dude for a while. Shout out to him. He makes great content and posts videos every day, which is something I can't even comp like, comprehend doing. Um, so shout out to Golden Blue Dude. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, and he looks to be in good in good shape. He's like one of the few not fat people um, participating. Um, so <clears throat> I really think he has a chance. I think he'll be up in the top. I put myself, I edged myself above him, not in the odds, but in the pecking order, because um, <clears throat> I'm just I'm giving it a hundred percent, baby. I'm here to win, okay? If if it was effort that was being graded, I would come in first, no doubt. 
But my physical capabilities, I am fat and slow. Uh, not as slow as you think, though. But I am fat, so my physical capabilities might hinder me a bit. I'm not um, not great at throwing, so or at least for the football accuracy, I don't anticipate to be doing super well in that. But that all being said, I've got Golden Blue Dude coming in at number three. Next, I've got Pigskin Pete, and they he was number two on uh, Lou and Pete's poll. Of course, you had Pigskin Pete voting for himself. I'm number two on my poll, so you know what I mean? I've got him at plus 400, uh, just outside of me and Golden Blue Dude. I think, I think us four and the top four will be competing the hardest, like neck and neck with each other. Um... From what Pete has said, though, he's not very fast, which you look at Pete, and he's one of the few not fat people that's competing. And But he said himself he's slow. He could probably throw a good football. Um, seems smart. Smart enough to do well on the IQ test and spelling bee. But, yes, I have Picks and Pete just outside of the top three. Um, but not much. Just uh, a mere plus 100 behind myself, Golden Blue Dude, and D4. Next, I got Lou. I think what's really going to hamper him is the 40-yard dash, but he seems like he could do well in um, all of the other events. I know he can't run. He's got two broke legs, so that's going to pretty much keep him from winning. I think outside of this top four, um, a lot of these people don't have very much of a chance of winning. Next, I've got Big Dog Brett and Law Tide with the same odds. Uh, I gave Brett the advantage because I think he's a little bit skinnier than Law Tide. Law Tide can kick a dang field goal and has seen his training video. Um, Big Dog Brett, uh, I honestly, I don't even know what is anything about Brett. I need to subscribe to him. I will after this video. I'll go and subscribe because I just don't know anything about him. But Lou and Pete put him right there at... Um, Five with Slim Shady for some reason. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. I got Brett and Law tied at uh, number six and seven. Uh, both with the same odds, plus 800. Next is when you get into, like, the real um, round fat guys. Uh, not that I have any room to talk. Don't come in here and get mad at me. But um, of them all, I thought Carter was pretty underrated. They got him at number 10. I've got him at number eight. He's like... I anticipate Carter to maybe surprise some people and come in about above the king of the chubby guys. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, well, if you don't count me. I totally look like I'm just totally uh, all into myself. But I promise I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. You all see. Lou and Pete ridded themselves in the top whatever so why can't i right I'll, everybody thinks they're gonna win don't get mad at me all right well you can leave a scathing comment if you want i mean i'm not gonna stop you and you'll probably be right uh hopefully not though so yeah i think carter could be a decent um enough competitor he looked like he could throw a shoe fairly well so i think carter i got him just above the 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 uh rest of the um the fat guys, um, just cause I just think I just think he looks the best of all of them. Um, also, I don't know the other guys too well. Um, so next, these next three: Kevin Casey, dog fan, Slim Shady, and Jesse J. I think like two or three of them are truckers, <laughs> so that's why I have them low on the list. Um, I they probably smoke. They all look like they could all be the same three people for all I know. Um. I've got them all at the same odds. They just seem, I think they're all big guys. And then, you know, usually they um, can't do too well in the physical events. And plus, uh, it's two Georgia fans and a Miami fan. So pretty much uh, the dumbest fan bases you could you could pretty much get. The, the two dumbest fan bases you could find uh, in this, in this uh, selection here. Slim Shady, I don't even know what he looks like. But I do know he's a trucker. And from my experience and my line of work, the truckers do nothing. They sit there all day and get fat, eat fast food, and just get fatter. And so I don't have 
uh, the most confidence in truckers. I think they uh, their chances to win are slim to none. Kevin, not a trucker that I'm aware of. Uh, he might as well be, though. I've seen... he. I've gone to his channel, and um, I'm a new subscriber to it. I don't know that he's an actual YouTuber. He has, like, one video from, like, a week ago. It was a stream about movies. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, but... Um, I'll subscribe to him. I just don't know much about him, but he seemed to be kind of in the thing, in the group with them. Same with Jesse J. I didn't really know him before, but they just all seemed to be kind of similar to me. They had Slim Shady at number five, which I just don't get. I don't get why a trucker would be that high. It kind of, um, kind of confusing to me. And they had Kevin at number seven, right behind me. Uh, just, um... Yeah, not sure what to make of that. I'm not sure why they're high on them, but uh, for the purposes of mine, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna have them down here in this kind of area, and then next I have Celine Driver. It's about the same as where they had it. I have him at number twelve. They had him at number eleven, uh, just pretty much because he's old, and um, old people aren't very fast uh, or can do a lot of physical activities um he might do well in the in the thinking events and he has the edge in the shoot throw because he's a florida fan so that might happen for him <clears throat> but for me though um i uh old people uh i just don't think can cut it in the slob olympics uh but big reason why i put myself above these other fat people it's because I'm fat and young. Next, I have Mike Vick. Um, I think he'll probably do well in the um, me uh, mental. I'm a new subscriber to him as well, but I do know he's in a wheelchair. So I just don't know how he's going to do like the dizzy bat, the kick, field goal kick, 40-yard dash. I don't know how fast his little uh, wheelchair goes. But yeah, he has a good chance of doing well in the mental I just think he's automatically disqualified, or not disqualified, but just automatically really can't do uh, the physical events. And that's why they had him so low, and I also had him uh, uh, a bit low. So, <clears throat> but imagine this scenario. Imagine Mike Vick versus Sea Dog in the Spelling Bee Championship. Would that not be great? It's like Georgia versus Georgia Tech, and it's like... Michael Vick, I, I would be like, everybody would be cheering for Michael Vick because it's just hard to not want to see him win. And um, I really like Michael Vick. He's a good dude. Hate his team, but <clears throat> Michael Vick, I hope to see you in the Spelling Bee Championship. Now, I don't know how good he is at spelling or anything, but <clears throat> I just thought that would be a great scenario. Next, I have Neo, uh, which he's the oldest competitor which like i said with celine uh, not good for your chances but he says himself which you know your age you can still do well in the mental uh, aspects but he said himself on the stream last night he is not winning the iq test in the spelling bee so that's pretty much gonna kick him out of a lot of things uh if there was like a coolest dude award neo would get it shout out to neo he's a cool dude but um, he always says what's up to me in the comments. But yeah, as far as the Slob Olympics goes, um, I don't think so. They had him down here too. <clears throat> so that's where I got him. Uh, next, we're kind of really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. These pre two pretty much have no chance in hell of winning anything. Uh, no offense. I love these guys. But um, I've got BVD. I've got BVD at 15th plus 5,000. Because if you are crazy enough to bet on BVD, you should get a good payout. Uh, no offense, but he smokes, he's old, he pretty much ticks all the boxes. And he he says himself this stuff, so don't get mad at me, BVD. I really enjoy your content. And he's a better YouTuber than me, but Slob Olympian, I don't, I don't think so. I just, um, I think he's gonna be hampered a lot by his physical capabilities, age, and then even he says he's not going to do well on like the mental stuff. So <clears throat> pretty much just there to hang out, which I do look forward to seeing BVD there. It's going to be awesome meeting him. 
Lastly, uh, we have Chess Hall. Uh, yeah, I agree with them on this. Sorry. Uh, he's pretty much not uh, capable of doing much at all. Uh, you can see that in everything he does. Um, not going to do well in the IQ. He might come dead last in it. Uh, everybody has him as the as the overwhelming underdog. I got him at plus 6,000. There's just no shot in hell he's going to win. Um, <clears throat> it might be plus 6,000, but you'd be throwing your money away to bet on chess. Um, he's pretty much just probably there to hang out and get laughed at. No offense, chess. You can laugh at me, too. I'll probably embarrass myself at some point, trying my ass off and failing. But, yeah, Ch uh, Chess, uh, not very smart, not very capable physically, and um, no shot in hell at winning the Slab Olympics. So there you have it. That's what Sea Dog thinks about the Slab Olympics. I'm super excited to go, and it was fun making this video. So... <laughs> Uh, good luck to all my Slab Olympian competitors. Um, D4, I'm coming after you. You're pretty much going down. Uh, everybody is, but, uh, but yeah, that's what I think of it. That's what I think will ha uh, these are my odds. <clears throat> they look a little crazy. I ha I just couldn't decide between some people. I have a lot of ties. On Uncle Lou and Pacey and Pete's, they only had one tie was Brett and Slim Shady. Um, I had a bunch of ties just because I kind of grouped them into layers. So if you look at it, I have the first top echelon is the top four. Uh, and then I have this next kind of bracket, which probably not much of a chance to win uh, or I just don't know about you. And then the next bracket, um, Fat Guys, and then down here, people that really just have no chance of winning. So that's kind of how I propped it up. So I put their odds. And then if you notice, I have like bigger gaps in between each kind of bracket. Um, now the lines get, they get blurred in the five to 10 range or so. So that's what's up with that. But yeah, that's what I think of this. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in Atlanta on March the 5th. As always, go Jackets, and I'll see you next time.